Welcome to What the Sex. My name is Kenny Red. With me is Rebecca Hello. and <laughs> the always pervy, always weird in public, always don't introduce him to your mama. <gasps> Jiggy, goddamn job. Oh, I like moms. <laughs> me too, Jiggy. Me too. <laughs> well, I like the dads. <laughs> Moms are great ties. <laughs> so we are filming today because our good friend Jiggy John uh, made an investment in himself. <laughs> I do it all the time. He uh, <laughs> he took an adventure in self care and went down a road that I will never go down. So uh, Jiggy, what you do? You can't knock it till you try it. Uh, I will never try this. This I can guarantee you. I will never, ever, ever try. Ever. But it's like uh, mm, ever. Re- okay, me being freaky. Ever. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Period." <"Peary> <laughs> no, it's just um, it'll be to the, we don't we're just gonna cut straight to it. I got a Prince Albert, a ring. To be exact, treat yourself. It was <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaky, so I enjoy like something new and sporadic and uh, whatnot. And like this, uh, like talk about a partner, and then like both decide to get it. It's like legit, but it's an like, experience. It's, like you should experience it. No, you should. <laughs> it's it's not Never. as bad as you think. The worst part about it is cleaning. When they have to clean it, and then when they have to do the piercing. But I have a high pain tolerance. So, like, for me, you have to psych me out before you give me a piercing. So, like, I just want to have a conversation like that. And I'm just like, oh, that hurt. But I don't, like, <laughs> this time I got one of those, like, tell me when you're ready. And I was just like, Okay, well, just, ah! <laughs> like, and I did hit him. <laughs> Shout out to Cardo Tattoo for that um, uh, and piercing for for that. But anyways, I did hit him. He said it's understandable because <laughs> took it like a champ. Yes, I'd have passed the fuck out. Yeah. Uh, there's no, there's no way. Well, he, he, he did ask. He's like, "Oh, did you get lightheaded or anything?" I was like, "No, I feel fine. I just want to make sure I'm not." Like rubbing anything on my dick <laughs> for the rest of the day, so it wasn't too bad. It's, is this a spontaneous thing? No, okay. he had been thinking about it for a while. Okay. No, actually, not the while it was like it was a couple weeks at least. Like, yes, yeah. a couple weeks. Okay, because we talked about doing it like and then like maybe, and then I was like, mm, and then hit the week of, and then it was like, let's see, but then everywhere is booked, mm-hmm. and then hit the following week, and then it was like. If we want this to be healed in time, we have to do it now or we'll do it way later. For when you see your boyfriend again. Yes. Right. So then it was just like, F it now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's slaying it. And, and <laughs> he and looks good too. Who does he call to come with him? I'm sitting at home, chilling. I get a text message. Hey man, what you doing? <laughs> Nothing, Jiggy. This is a really weird text message coming from me. That's not normally how your text messages start. Do you want to do something? I'm going to go get my dick pierced. You want to come? <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> it's for content. It's like it's you content for the that. show. You can film it. Why? Actually, the Why? artist said oh, he would yeah, not. Because he, they won't let you. Yeah, he, he, that's right, that's right. he prefers mm-hmm. anything below the way he's not That built. makes sense. But, I mean... I could have, you could have been outside the door and the ooze and out and the smack and the, and the, yeah. The only thing I probably would have filmed would might have been your, like, your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only it thing was, I could think of. It was something else, because I got to lay all the way down, and I'm just like, woo Like, it was, yeah. 
Mm. It was like a schoolgirl had to kick and stuff. But I can't wait till it's fully healed. Four to six weeks. <laughs> so, but I did masturbate within the first week, so it was good. Did, nice you, did you did you finish? Yeah. Oh. But yeah. did it feel better? Or? It stung the first time because the thing is, it's like because all yeah. that is still healing. So like doing it, you're just like, ooh, like. But at the but it was worth it because I mean I just got a dick for you, so <laughs> masturbating does make it feel better. And I was like, yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah, like I felt like a demon left my body. I was like, <laughs> it was like so nice, <laughs> so, so nice. Then he proceeds to have a photo shoot with. It. <laughs> but you have to. I mean, <laughs> you have to. Especially if someone says they want to see it, I'm like, oh, here it is. Like, I have to be somewhat classy. I can't just like whip it out everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's still time. There is time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, but I I would encourage you to do it if you are a freaky being like me. Because I know I can hit the spots and I'm going to hit those extra spots. Like, I'm going to get extra credit when I go back in there. I hey, love plus, extra credit. Plus, plus, plus. plus. Period. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I won't be doing that. Uh, I don't <laughs> He's like, I'm going to get a tattoo. No, yeah, like, uh... I, for some reason in my head, feel like I'm too old for piercings, or I don't I don't look right with piercings, so, like, even, I, I used to have, like, my ears, my ears used to be, like, hella pierced, but I, like, took them out because, like, my ears are, I, like, my ears are big, my head's big, like, I don't need to draw any more attention to everything I've got going on. <laughs> would, you, would you even consider, like, the piercing underneath... In between no. the uh, okay, <laughs> fill in the blanks. You already know what he's no. saying. Though, it doesn't, if, if if it requires a needle going into my dick anywhere, no. But what if it's I'm like not, not no? In between, like the only time the the, like anything will inside. ever be inserted into my penis is if I ever need a catheter. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> medical reasons. Yeah, that's Valid, medical yeah. reasons. Would you consider a, any type of? Do piercings right now? I some don't below, some below the belt stuff. I don't below. think so. I've thought about it because I have heard very good things. Um, but I don't. For one, I don't really like piercings anymore, and I don't like to hear part people. of it. Yeah, we are tattoo people. I love tattoos too, but and we can heal a tattoo in less than yeah. a week. Just I some can't aloe heal. And some yeah, lotion. No, you get some lotion, <laughs> just and boom, done. So, as it's salt and it's freaking handsome. It's the kind of difference. It's, it's okay. so tedious. It's all right. right. Mm. So, like no, your probably. I can't. <laughs> I feel like it's not. I feel like it's not. I feel like I gotta do this again. <laughs> I was, just washed this this morning. That's why my shower is so And cool. then I would probably like want to wash it a lot because I'd be afraid that it'd get like it moist down there. Yeah. Still moist down there. As a female. Ah, as a female, yeah. <laughs> Throw your pH balance off. Yeah, and so I think that healing process would suck. Mm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not too bad. I've never had my clip pierced. I can't, I <laughs> can't relate. I don't know. Can't relate. I don't know. I don't know what the healing process on that is like. <laughs> if, if you know, uh, <laughs> feel free right. to leave it in the comments. I guess just uh, I'll let us know. Make sure <laughs> you don't use a diagram or something because we'll get kicked off Facebook for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Those uh, well. I don't. I don't even think I can pierce my nipples. Cause I don't, mm. I don't like even like during sex. I don't like my nipples touch. Like mm-hmm. I don't. It doesn't do anything for me. Okay. And so, like I think it's the you're just wasting it. your time. I, yes. Like I love nipple piercings on guys. Love them. I think it's so attractive. Yeah, yeah but well, I, mean, I love I them even, on women. I, mean, I just I don't even need to like play with them or anything. I just want to stare at them. Like oh, I yeah. love them. Like and I loved when I had them. I thought they looked hot as fuck. Mm. And so. I think they're worth it. And I'm a one tit bandit. So like, <laughs> Party tit. Yes, because this one was like, mm-hmm, they did not want anything all right. But no, I enjoy it. I like. I do love the look of it. I love like when you see uh, guys that have it, and you're just like, 
Because you know they're like, mm -hmm. something's going to die. You're wearing a shirt that's just a little sheer, and you can yeah. see them poking through. That's what I was going to say. So, that. to me, like, if you're a dude and you have your nipples pierced, like, you have to wear, like, mesh tops all the time. I mean... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the right. fishnet tops that you see at Pride and shit all the time. Like, I'm fine with it. That's that's how you have to wear clothes. You don't well, get to wear. Requirement. You don't get to wear like. Wardrobe. Yeah, you don't get to wear like a polo or button up or some shit like that. Like you. you <laughs> but I love when like when you do get like dressed and like or you have like some like if you had a job a corporate event or whatever and then they're just like predominant and everything and I'm like. <laughs> 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 Look at my teeth and call me Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Look me in my eyes. Literally. And then I wear those tight pants to get the bulge down the stairs too. Oh yeah. But I mean I, I get it because I mean on women as well. Like I like seeing it under the shirt and stuff like that. Like that's sexy as fuck. But I don't know. I'm, just I'm a boomer. I don't <laughs> Are you not? No, I'm not. I'm a millennial. But there's okay. <laughs> an old millennial. Yeah, I'm an old millennial. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, they did apparently just make um, millennials. Yeah, like there's a split. like, yeah, there's splits. I'm good, because I was like, one, I don't like being called a millennial. And then two, I'm an upper. <laughs> I'm like a first tier millennial. They have the lower ones, too. They're like zillennials. Ew. Because yeah. it's like gen, it's like borderline. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> I'm right there in the technically, middle. yeah, technically, I'm a, I'm a I'm a millennial, but I'm I'm an old millennial. So. Which people don't understand that like millennials are fucking forty now. <laughs> like, so Literally, <laughs> well, you quit blaming shit on us. We're middle aged. We got jobs and lawns <laughs> and shit. Yeah. we got fucking car payments and shit. Right. <laughs> Like, right? What the hell? I got housing association fees. Don't <laughs> fucking call me a fucking man. Like, Bad. in a negative term. Like. <laughs> but then when a boomer comes, you're like, oh, wait, I, I'll be that millennial. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're a boomer. <laughs> well, only no when, to boomers. Only when they say some stupid shit. Oh. Only when they say some stupid shit. Eight, <laughs> eight out of ten times. <laughs> there's, some, there's some woke older folks. Some. Some I can't hey, yeah. listen. I don't like to paint with a broad brush, <laughs> except for when I'm talking about stereotypes. But that's something that, that's different. That's a whole different episode. <laughs> that's a whole different short. A whole different episode. <laughs> so, would you ever get a tattoo around that area then? Mm, yeah, probably. I would be if like in between. I think that would suck like a ditch area. That would be tough healing. But I, yeah, I probably would. I'd be okay with that. I don't know if it would. I think it would hurt. But I mean, they make numbing stuff now. Yeah. Sure. Um, I don't think I could ever get a tattoo like on it. But I could go yeah, like I I could. right on top. I could, I could, I could, I could go like yeah. down. Yeah, I can do I can do it on it. I mean, I got this here, so it's, <laughs> you, what, it, it's what's just, next? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's all cotton candy from here for you. <laughs> but does doesn't your piece have to be erect to get a? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I can do that, especially if the artist is hot. <laughs> I can really. Please just pop up, a like, pop a little blue pill. <laughs> A little blue at a time. Oh, I'll be fine. Trust. I, don't know. I may be oozing over them. I've had stories of doing that before. Oozing? Like pre cum? Pre cum hardcore. Okay. Like raining. Raining pre cum? Yeah. Isn't it just like cum at that point? No, because I didn't, I didn't um, get off. So it's just like pre cum. I, like if I'm horny and like in a mood or something like that, I can just drip and drip. And drip like I yeah yeah it's fantastic talent. <laughs> I didn't know I had that talent but it's a fantastic talent. Normally, when somebody tells me they drip, you might want to go <laughs> go, go see somebody about that. No, 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 no. no. They, they think this is a good one. Things. Okay, this is a good one. Take a word for it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know that I could. I don't know that I could maintain an erection while somebody's. I, I mean, if I took like a Viagra or something, like that would help. But at the same time, if you're hurting my dick, it doesn't want to stay hard. 
I feel like uh, and if it does be anything like extravagant it would have to be something like like it's all it's just words yeah something. yeah it would have yeah. to be something dumb and funny yeah. or you're about to yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything more than like 20-30 minutes like let's just get let's it done get like your mom yeah. or something on it like, <laughs> I have your name on my dick yeah <laughs> yeah and it's I just don't and you know what even if my dick can stay hard for that I'm not sure that that's something I want to know I don't want to know that about myself. Do you want to take a phys- physical challenge? No, that's no. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to know that about myself. Because then I'm just gonna be like, I. I don't think I'd ever stop bragging. But yeah, my dick, <laughs> my dick stay, that's my dick stay hard while they were tattooing it. The whole time I didn't even take no breaks. Ugh. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> oh, you can go to a kink mother fest with me now. Yeah, you can tell everyone a story. Oh, that'd be fun. No. <laughs> uh, I'll go to a kink mother fest, but I, I won't have that story too. No, it'd be made up. Then when somebody's like, oh, let me see you. Uh, well, just, well, my shit will just be out. <laughs> exactly. So, and so, mine will not. I'll be dressed like somebody's dad. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, so, oh my gosh, you like. shorts and. <laughs> <laughs> New Balance shoes and shit. High rise. <laughs> Talk about it. Somewhere. Only thing leather about me is my wallet. <laughs> you crazy kids. I have a matching koozie with his hat and shit. Yeah, like, yeah for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking button up shirt tucked into my jean shorts with my fanny pack on. <laughs> a leather fanny pack. Leather, 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 leather fanny pack. You have to be in the you, mood. Yeah. Yes. You're at a leather festival. Yes. <laughs> do they make leather fanny packs? Yes, yeah, yeah, they, they do. do. They even make crowns and stuff like that. Stop. Like, I'm, not, I'm not getting a leather fucking fanny pack. <laughs> you, uh, I'm what not about doing a crown? It. A leather crown? A what? Crown. Why? Oh, to do what with? That's what I'm to do. Like, just to wear it. Where is this leather kink festival that I'm allegedly going? Oh, to? it's a, it's lots of festivals, but there's Every. IML, um, International Male Leather. There's Claw that goes on. There's like uh, Folsom Fest. There's it's so many that go on that that. Do you understand like how bad after leaving one of those I would just want to hang out with chicks? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'm like, I'm like, Jiggy, this is a great time. I, I had a lot of fun with you. Are there girls somewhere? <laughs> yeah, there's everyone that comes. Kind of, but of course, there's a lot of male. Yeah. There, but there's like definitely females, females and kink Maybe doubles. Maybe that's the females you're looking for, but. Maybe. I don't care. I just, <laughs> some estrogen. I don't want to do anything. I just. I just need to be like, have somebody that gets a period or something like around me. <laughs> I have one right now. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to get that drip <laughs> No, it's nothing, oh guys. God. It's nothing. Oh, that's so great. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of foul shit, Jiggy did. Uh, was it? Was it, was it like two weeks ago we went to Bingo? Yeah. Like two, Come three, two, three weeks ago we go to Drag Bingo. There is a young man making the rounds. The rounds. Talking to people. I excuse myself to go to the restroom. <laughs> Perfect time. Good exit plan. Good exit plan. Jiggy lets this man follow me into the restroom. <laughs> Where he just proceeds to carry on a conversation. He's not even using the fucking bathroom. <laughs> and everybody was just making friends. He was making friends. No. That's, <laughs> Jiggy knew exactly what the fuck was going on. I was busy. A bathroom. He, he was not busy. Let me tell you how I know he wasn't busy. Because mm. when I came out of the bathroom, washed my hands, come out, Jiggy erupts into fucking laughter <laughs> as soon as I look at him. Like, just like that. That's exactly what he looks like. Jiggy and his boyfriend both are like, ha, ha, ha. Um, mm. <laughs> I do not recall these actions. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Sure did. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> it was a good time. Though. I always have fun at drinking. Oh my goodness. Like great times. Mm-hmm. Oh, great times. It was a blast. <laughs> and I went to Drag Brunch this past Sunday, which was also a lot of fun. So. I love that. Um, Shout out to our local drag scene. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Uh, Delalicious. 
her drag bingo drag brunch brunch. But they play bingo oh, there too, yes, so it's not a good time. Yeah, yeah. oh, it's oh, yeah. a real good time. There's a little mix of everything. Yep, it's brunch, a bingo, and a drag show. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Oh, how was the food? Because last time I went, the food was bomb, and I smashed. It was good. Like, I mean, it's a buffet style yeah. type, type situation. So they have enough for everybody, though. Like yes. enough variety and stuff. Mm-hmm. There's like eggs and sausage and like, like French toast sticks and, and biscuits and yeah. gravy and fruit mm-hmm. and yeah, stuff you need all that yeah. Sunday. Oh yeah, after mm-hmm. Saturday night. Yep. Bloody Mary. And to continue drinking. On all that great, but yeah, because it's not at the top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> People will just keep on drinking. Bloody Marys are not. <laughs> It's, it's, you're talking about brunch and the gay thing. We're talking about mimosas. <laughs> Give yeah, us mimosas. So I, went, I, I went with a friend of mine and she ordered the mimosa. <laughs> she had two and she Ooh, literally. That's how you know it's good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> get a mimosa. I mean, that that thing, lit. get mimosas or bottomless mimosas mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah, that loves them. I ordered a spicy mm-hmm. Bloody Mary and it was just like, it was. Mistakes were made. Yeah, mistakes yeah. were made. It was like Tito's and oh. tomato juice oh, and pepper. Yeah. And I was like, all right, well. Next time, mimosas. Next time, yeah. now I know. Mimosas. Now I know. Yeah. You Next time, get, I go to drag queen brunch. You always get a it's, it's almost like when you go to certain places, like, you're not going to a Mexican restaurant and be like, Oh, can you make me this Long Island? I mean, well, they will, but I mean, <laughs> you want margaritas? That's what they're, yeah. that's what they're known no, for. They specialize. It. I'm sorry that I didn't know mimosas <laughs> was the international gay drink. Duh! <laughs> the fuck do you mean, duh? <laughs> duh! Where have you been? Really, it's champagne <laughs> and orange juice, and sometimes colored with some other fruits and stuff. Duh! International. I always so, order it. I didn't get that email. I'm sorry. And especially... Go back. Check your junk mail. Literally. <laughs> it's in your spam. <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> some of these brunch places will do um, even add vodka to the mimosa. And I'm just like, that's the game over moment. It's like, it just depends on where you go, but... You get fucked up. <laughs> yes. It's a shampoo that's effect. A lot. Yeah. From the night before, you're just like... <laughs> and Saturday still is going on. <laughs> no, I don't. No, 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 not even. At least they're feeding you too. I mean, yeah, so, correct. So. Yeah, she had a a thing where if um, you were one away from a bingo, you got to shout as well. Which, oh, um, nice. I think, which instead of shouting bingo or almost bingo, you shout it's on, bitch. That's what. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so. It was, it's pretty dope. Was like, it on, bitch? It was on. <laughs> apparently, several times, there, several people decided to shout, It's on, bitch! <laughs> Did I enjoy that? I it was a good that. time. Oh my goodness, yeah. yes. All right, then. <laughs> this is a good little short. This is a good little yeah. short. I like it. I thanks like it. thanks for watching the What the Stay short. Mm. Uh, we're going to go pet the dogs. <laughs> Bye, friends. <laughs> What the sex? What the sex? What the? Thanks a lot. Now I got dirt all over me.